Hey you guys, uh, what's up? This is Ebots today, coming with a uh, tutorial on the uh, Ranger logo that I uh, posted a couple days ago. I got a very good response for them that. So now I'm going to uh, show you guys how to model it. Uh, let me skip to the end here, show you. Yeah, we're going to learn how to model that. Okay, so uh, in the description I'm going to put this, which is like the... Uh, basic just M4 that you can use within 740D and that's what it is in the background just an M4 like that so yeah that's what we're gonna use alright so um you've got your gun here and that's what we're basically gonna start out with so the first thing that I did is I just clicked on it and hit control copy and then control V to make a copy of it and then you're gonna wanna click R on your keyboard so that brings up the uh, rotator tool hold shift and then rotate it negative 180 like um here we get a grab it fire higher up negative 180 uh, why does it do that all right negative 180 we'll type it in here all right there we go so let's take a peek here looking good that's the basic beginning of the uh, thing here so now you're gonna wanna rotate it to the side to form the uh, like a uh, cross shape so you can wanna click this hold shift and do that and maybe bring it like maybe negative 75 actually uh, let's go negative 100 there that looks pretty good alright so now if we look on the top here, we just got the uh, basic model of our scene here. Let's like, move this top gun down a little bit. We got the basic model of our scene here, just the crossed uh, guns. And uh, this is what we're basically going to go by here. Um, I just make sure it's all lined up nicely and such. So when, we're, when we uh, get started, it'll look pretty good. Um, just line it up pretty good in there. There we go. Alright, so now when we start actually modeling it, it'll look pretty decent. So, let's get on started. So, the first thing you want to do is click on this column here, like the uh, spline thing, and you're going to want to uh, click star. And um, when you first look at it, it'll be uh, like a craw, eight-pointed eight, eight pointed thing, but and it'll be uh, straight up and down, but we'll fix it. So, the first thing you want to tame turn the points down to 5 and change the inner radius to 85 so it's like more of a pointier thing like that and that looks pretty good so now you can you're gonna want to like uh, hit the R tool and rotate this 90 degrees like that let's just type in negative 90 alright so now if we take a look up top here that looks pretty good. That's just the uh, basic setup of the whole thing, pretty much. So, uh, if we click on the star now, you've got everything set up, pretty much. And uh, we can get on started. Or, get on started, we've been started. We can now uh, extrude it. So, now you're going to want to click Extrude Nerves and drag the star into the Extrude Nerves. Now, uh, usually you change the last one in the Extrude Nerves, but this time we're going to get rid of that and change this one to about 55 because it's going up and down so if you take a look at it now that looks right so let's move this down a little bit like that and um, on the picture of the actual logo here it uh, has the like uh, there's like inner layer of the star too so we're going to uh, make a copy of it so just hit Man, copy, man, B, like that. And for the second one, you're going to want to hit T on the keyboard and scale it down. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. For Now for the second one, you're going to want to click on the star and then change the outer radius to like 190 and the inner radius to like 80 
And now, if we move this up by like that, there we go, that looks much better. Let's even uh, move that in a little bit more. Let's go like 170, 175, and uh, 75, 75. <laughs> there we go. So now that looks a lot better. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add a fillet cap on the original star. So we'll rename this fillet star. Like that. So now if we click on this, go to caps, and then for the end, you're going to want to add fillet cap like such, and uh, bump the radius up to like 15 or so. So, yeah. And let's lower this a little bit like that. So now if we take a look at it from the top, click like that, maybe we'll get a little side view. We we'll render this out. That's yeah, looking pretty nice so far. So let's keep on going. Um, I'm gonna just group up my guns just by highlighting both and hitting Alt G, and then just rename his guns. And even this star, the star, the second one we made, still even looks kind of big. So I'm gonna make it 150 for the uh in radius, and I'm gonna make this like 65. So now, look on top here. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, so, alright, we're looking good now. So let's just uh, group these stars up too, just by hitting Alt G. And this just makes everything easier to work with, like that. So now let's uh, get some materials going. If, as you saw in the uh, example picture here, if we. Uh, look, we got like the uh, golden material, a black material, and a uh, silvery material, and those are our three basic colors. And on the guns, we got a gray, grayish material, a bit darker than the silver. So uh, let's make those. So um, on the picture, there were, it seemed like there was like a texture to it. Let's zoom in a bit. It seemed like there was a uh, like a bump texture. So we'll add that to with our uh, materials. So let's get started here. Uh, we'll start off with the gold material. Um, under the specular settings, change the width to about 15 or so. Change the height to about um, let's go 80 or so. And um, for the color, you're going to want to just select pretty much gold. You're going to want to find it pretty much where you want it to be. Just get like Maybe like that, and we'll get our reflection on there. The texture prick for now. Turn the brightness way down to like 15 or like that, and the uh, mix strength to about maybe 75 or like 77. About that. So that looks pretty good, and um, I just check specular color, so the color is like sort of a like a reflective orangey too. And uh, for mine, I added a bump. This is completely optional; it just makes it look uh, realistic, I guess. And I added a texture, and I think it was like uh, I don't even remember what I used. It was like oh, I just used noise that and yeah that was pretty much it and I think I put this at like five or something and turn the strength down to like and so yeah that gives it like a uh, rough look to it and we're basically gonna do this with the uh, black material except we're just gonna uncheck color and we're just going to add reflection for now and uh, Tone the uh, mix strength down again. Same basic thing. And do the same thing with the bump. Except for this time with the bump, I did uh, surfaces and a, where'd a brick. And that looked pretty cool. And if you tone the strength up a little bit, it gives it like a, a brick like texture. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know what? I'm pretty bored. Let's uh, change this to a double torus out of for fun. 
There we go. That, that looks fancy. All right. Uh, so now let's make the uh, silvery metal. Metal. I don't even know. Let's uh, just tone the color down a little bit so it's a little darker. Maybe even down here. Look at that. All right. And uh, let's get the reflection again. Just uh, for now. Turn the mix strength down and the brightness too. And let's do the same thing with the bump X and noise, except we'll put the strength to like three because it wasn't very uh, solid on the picture here. Yeah, like it wasn't very uh, bumped up, I guess. If you zoom out here, it doesn't look like it as much. And so we've got the gold, we've got the black, we have the silver done. Let's get the dark gray now. Alright, let's make the dark gray material. So if we double click here, go to color, and we'll, just to speed up this process, we'll choose the dark gray here, like that. And we will add our reflections again. So it's just basically doing the same thing over and over with the materials. Just making sure everything looks good. And the bump for this one, uh, we lo load a texture, noise, and the bump needs to go way up on this one, maybe like 55, because of, like, if you look at the picture, those, it seems like a, a very rough texture that's on those uh, guns. Maybe not 55, let's put it like... 35. There we go. Okay. So, yep. Now let's add our material. So let's just add the uh, darker gray. Let's even make it a little bit darker. Like that. So let's add the dark gray to our guns here. Just add it like that. Now, if we render, it'll look pretty decent. Like that. It looks pretty close to the picture. Alright, so now let's start working on our stars. For the inner for the inner star, uh, it was just the uh, light gray, so let's add that. And this is where it gets tricky for the ex the uh, external star. It was black on the ins or it was black on the inside and gold on the outside, so you're gonna have to do some like material uh numbering so let's add the uh, gold first and then add the black now to make it so only the black shows up in the fr on the front of this I'll we'll put it over here so to make it so only the black shows up on the front you want to go to selection and hit C1 and actually since it's upside down you're going to want to hit C2 there we go so now when we render it out uh, both the materials will show up, and that looks pretty nice. So, and you got this material on the inner star, and okay, so that's looking good. So now let's uh, get the the uh, like arch going here, this right there, like that. Now uh, this arch won't perfectly match the picture, but it'll be pretty close. So let's go in here and click on arc. So you're gonna want to change the type to ring. Let's take a look at it here. Let's move it over like this, so we can work with it. And uh, change the plane to X Z, so just flat like that. And let's bump. Let's change. Let's take a peek at it here. Let's actually want to rotate it like that. So it'll uh, line up with the logo pretty good. And you want to find the place where it'll uh, kind of be like that. Let's put it like 135. Alright. So now let's start to... Uh, sorry, guys. 